Schreiben wir uns heute. Wir haben einen Freund des Town Area und sehen, dass es auch so in Richmond Security ist, dass ich ihn bauen kann. Mein Freund war buried mit dem Fallen. One wallet, one set of keys, and one flathead bloody screwdriver. He had sustained a number of blows to the head, and I'm confident that the autopsy will confirm that it's the cause of his death. Mr. Fahey was last seen entering his home where you and your scumbag brother were staying. Forensics discovered trace of Mr. Fahey's blood on the sitting room floor. So tell me now, how do you explain that? Fuck you. Plenty more where that came from. We found blood in the house that you and your retarded brother live in. I'll call them that. <laughs> I tell you one thing. You and your brother Finn are going away for a long time. It's in his own fucking gaff guard. Couldn't cut himself shaving for all you and the partners. You know, you don't seem too upset for the man who's just seen the body of his own father. That's not my father. He's been around since you were a boy. I don't remember my father, that's not him. Should have looked after your mother when she was around. Don't make me laugh there. How's it going? You enjoy it? Look, I know your brother might have said stay quiet, but that doesn't work for people who have the fingerprints all over the victim's body. It's good. What's good? School. Oh? Be in fifth year now, am I right? No? Poor. Poor? Yeah, go ahead, back. School. She. Any girls in the same? Boys? Once this our teachers in the school they were in. Yeah, Mr. McLaughlin. Mr. McLaughlin's your sister. Yeah. I asked her about you. She said you were getting on very well. She's nice. Very cool. Ah, uh, yeah. Come to Yeah, for no milk. <coughs> no milk? Yeah, for sure. That's how you managed to make. Did you get on well with your stepfather? Yeah, great actually. It's a bit of a low hate relationship. How so? Well, I'm pretty sure you looked as when he was sober and he fucking hated us when he was pissed. I'm sure you know all about that guy. And why would I know all about that? Social services are anchored, they got a number of times. You just fed them bullshit story after bullshit story. The kid fell down, he rolled down the fucking stairs, he hit his head off the table. And my man said that, she'd get the same treatment. Look, I don't want to hear your fucking bullshit sob story. At the end of the day, you two kill the man. And in the law it says if you kill a man, you go to jail. That's justice. And you and I know it doesn't work like that. Me and my brother have nothing and all we're going to be is another fucking statistic. We found Finn's fingerprints all over the body and the screwdriver. To what you look stupid. If you had them, we wouldn't be sad. You may not be stupid, but your brother's not the smartest fellow in the world. I'd say he's in there now, signing the confession papers. Tell me about your mother. She was the best. She was my idol. If I'd go to her about that, then she'd be there. That was before you really wanted. Your dad? He's not my dad. I remember coming home from school. And if she didn't have the dinner ready, or if she talked back to him around.
He'd smack her hard. Or else he'd scream at her face. And he'd tell her that she didn't mean that in town. And I could tell that she was just trying to put on a brave face for us, but... I could tell that she was dying inside as well. I remember one day, he was coming home from the pub. He was fucking pissed. And then, she made him a dinner and it was still hot. So he made him stand there and like, <laughs> in the freezing cold, until it was the way he wanted it. And then when she came back in, he smacked it out of her hand. And then I heard, and then I heard the back door slam. And I remember the next day when I woke up and went down to feed the dog. She was there. Punched into the kennel. Shivering and there was cuts and bruises all over her face. <laughs> she meant the world to me. <laughs> she was me oil. And all he had to do was wave his finger and she'd make him breakfast. Or anything he wanted. And that's why he killed him. That's why he drove the screwdriver into his head. Because he drove your mother to the edge. <laughs> he may as well do it. He may as well have just put the fucking noose around her neck and kick the steel. <laughs> I remember looking at her body hanging lifeless. Her face was white. I'm fucking glad I took that screwdriver and dropped it into his fucking head. No. No, wait. Wait. Feel free to go.